Little Black Sambo, A Little Golden Book. This little golden book belonged to Uncle Marlon Givens. Little Black Sambo by Helen Bannerman, pictures by Gustav Tengren, Simon & Schuster, New York. Little Black Sambo Once upon a time there was a little black boy, and his name was Little Black Sambo, and his mother was called Black Mumbo and his father was called Black Jumbo. And Black Mumbo made him a beautiful little red coat and a pair of beautiful little blue trousers. And Black Jumbo went to the bazaar and bought him a beautiful green umbrella and a lovely little pair of purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. And then wasn't Little Black Sambo grand. So he put on all his fine clothes and went out for a walk in the jungle. And by and by, he met a tiger. And the tiger said to him, Little Black Sambo, I'm going to eat you up. And Little Black Sambo said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful little red coat. So the tiger said, Well, very well. I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful little red coat. So the tiger got poor little Black Sambo's beautiful red coat, and went away saying, Now I am the grandest tiger in the jungle. And little Black Sambo went on, and by and by he met another tiger. And it said to him, Little Black Sambo, I'm going to eat you up. And little Black Sambo said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful little blue trousers. So the tiger said, Very well, I won't eat you this time but you must give me your beautiful little trousers. So the tiger got poor little Black Sambo's beautiful little blue trousers and went away saying, Now I am the grandest tiger in the jungle. And little Black Sambo went on, and by and by he met another tiger, and it said to him, Little Black Sambo, I'm going to eat you up. And little Black Sambo said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. But the tiger said, What use would your shoes be to me? I've got four feet and you've got only two. You haven't got enough shoes for me. But little black Sambo said, You could wear them on your ears. So I could, said the tiger. That's a very good idea. Give them to me and I won't eat you this time. So the tiger got poor little black Sambo's beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings, and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And by and by, Little Black Sambo met another tiger, and it said to him, Little Black Sambo, I'm going to eat you up. And Little Black Sambo said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful green umbrella. But the tiger said, How can I carry an umbrella? when I need all my paws for walking with. You could tie a knot in your tail and carry it that way, said Little Black Sambo. So I could, said the tiger, give it to me. And I won't eat you this time. So he got poor Little Black Sambo's beautiful green umbrella and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. And poor Little Black Sambo went away crying because the cruel tigers had taken all of his fine clothes. Presently, he heard a horrible noise that sounded like grrrr, and it got louder and louder. Oh dear, said Little Black Sambo, there are all the tigers coming back to eat me up. What shall I do? So he ran quickly to a palm tree and peeped around it to see what the matter was. And there he saw all the tigers fighting and disputing which of them was the grandest. And at last, they all got so angry that they jumped up and took off all their fine clothes and began to tear each other with their claws and bite each other with their great white teeth. And they came rolling and tumbling right into the foot of the very tree where little black Sambo was hiding. But he jumped quickly in behind the umbrella and the tigers all caught hold of each other's tails as they wrangled and scrambled as so they found themselves in a ring around the tree. Then, when the tigers were very weak and very far away, Little Black Sambo jumped up and 
called out, Oh, tigers, why have you taken off all of your nice clothes? Don't you want them any more? But the tigers answered, Grrr. Then little black Sambo said, If you want them, say so, or I'll take them away. So the tigers would not let go of each other's tails, and so they would only say, Grrr. So little black Sambo put on all his fine clothes again and walked off. And the tigers were very, very angry, but still they would not let go of each other's tails. And they were so angry that they ran around the tree trying to catch each other up. And they ran faster and faster till they whirled around so fast that you couldn't see their legs at all. And they still ran faster and faster and faster till they all just melted away. And there was nothing left but a great big pool of melted butter, or ghee, as it's called in India, around the foot of the tree. Now Black Jumbo was just coming home from his work with a great big brass pot in his arms. When he saw what ha was left of all the tigers, he said, Oh, what lovely melted butter. I'll take that home to Black Mumbo for her to cook with. So he put it all into the great big brass pot and took it home to Black Mumbo to cook with. When Black Mumbo saw the melted butter, wasn't she pleased? Now she said, we'll all have pancakes for supper. So she got flour and eggs and milk and sugar and butter and made a huge plate of most lovely pancakes. And she fried them in the melted butter which the tigers had made. And they were just as yellow and brown as little tigers. And they all sat down to supper and Black Mumbo ate 27 pancakes, and Black Jumbo ate 55, but Little Black Sambo ate 165 because he was so hungry. How many of the Little Golden Books have you read? A Story of Little Black Sambo from Uncle Marlin's Books.